on YouTube. I don't know if y'all can hear me very clear. I got a headset connected. Yeah, it's about 6, 6.56. They open at 7. Delivery time for 7.30. They said they will take me before then. They got one truck ahead of me, so I'll be right on time. Right on time. Yeah, man, we in uh, Burnett, Texas. Back in Texas. I mostly run Texas to Alabama. I might stop off in Mississippi if we be back. Once I pull behind the truck, I got it unstrapped. And then I get right back to y'all. Talk to y'all about how how to go about getting your CDL and how I went about it. It's a simple process. It takes time, though. Like anything, it like take time. Before you get your CDL, make sure you have a plan, though. Make sure you know what you want to do. And trucking, and trucking can have a way to veer you off from your path. If you don't have a plan. And like I gotta make sure y'all have plans, man. Stick to the schedule. Make your own schedule. This guy walking up to me now. Hold on one second. We back, y'all. Let's talk about this. How to go about getting your CDL. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, I'ma tell y'all how I got it. Cause that's how, that's how, you know, that's how I experienced getting my CDL. But I was, uh, I work in a, you know, a regular nine to five job making, I think I was making about $14 an hour. And I was just doing a lot of research on getting a CDL cause I really wanted to, you know, get into driving a truck. At first I didn't know what I wanted to do whether reef or flatbed, but I decided to do flatbed because I like to work. And it's a, a basically you getting a workout while you're doing it. You get a workout every day if you're in a workout type of person, but I worked out a lot, so I just wanted to do that. And the first, well, the first step is make sure you do your research on trucking in general. What uh, the good parts about it and the negative side of be, being a truck driver. You don't just want to look at side A. You gotta look at side B also and see if you won't do it so you already have a, you know, you already have in your mind what could happen if everything goes down in trucking, what could happen so you won't be shocked if it do happen. So first up is do your research. Research, research, research. Research a lot on truck driving, the career in trucking in general then you uh, research people that offer uh, schools for the CDL if you want to go to uh, a company because they have a lot of companies that do CDL sponsor so or you can go to your DMV and find out what local what local schools you got in the area I look it up on Google we all got phones so you could probably look it up on Google. That would be an easier step. And call them and find out what you need to do, how long you need to have it. You have your permit. Find out how much it's gonna cost you before, I say this before you go to the DMV and start taking a test and everything. Cause you don't wanna take, I don't even know I don't even know how much. I don't think it costs anything to go take the test and everything. So I know it costs to get your license, but it don't cost to get your permit. I mean, but it don't cost to uh, go take the test. You can take the test how many times you want. But yeah, I say talk to the school you think about going to and find out prices and find out what you want to do first before you go actually take the test and try to get your permit because you want to know the prices of everything to know if you can afford to do which option, whatever option you want to do. 
So once you find out the school you want to go to and research the prices and how is the school and what they have, do they have all automatic or do they have manuals also? I went to school all automatic because I ain't had a, uh, expenses to, at the time to pay for my own CDL school. So I went through, went through prior, which was a good option. But yeah, once you know how much it's gonna cost, you did your research on the school, you did your research on getting, getting a CDL, having a CDL. Then you can go about how to get your permit, which is easy. You just go to your local DMV, tell them you won't get your CDL, do a couple of paperwork, and then you go start taking a test, permit test. You have, as a, as, if I can remember, I know you have general knowledge, you got your air brakes. I know those are the main two. You need the pass, general knowledge, air brakes, and they have your, your endorsements, your tanker endorsement, hazmat endorsement, triples, doubles. Oh, etc. They have a lot. That go for me, right? But yeah, you you take the test to get your permit. Once you get your permit, once you get your permit, you call your school, let the school you want to go to, let them know you already got it. If I'm not mistaken, even if you go to CDL sponsor company like Prime, because that's what I know. I know now they change to where you, you gotta get your permit at home and come in with your, already having your permit. So once you get your permit, you pick the school you wanna go to. Pay the money up front if you have to. I'm not sure you had to pay it up front cause I ain't go to a local CDL school. I went to Prime, like I said. So you pay the money. Then you go through the process with the with the uh, the test to actually get your CDL. You got to go through types of backs. You got to go through road tests, backs, road tests. Basically, see if you know how to operate it. It's not really hard. It's not hard at all. I try factor, so I got it on the first time. It's not hard at all. You just got to have dedication sure that you really want it you go there you pass it then you got to go back to the DMV and bring them the paperwork so they can do your actual license you pay for your license you pay for your license once you uh, pass the test they give you a, a paper to say that you successfully passed Successfully pass the test, and then you go in there and get your license. It's basically like getting a, a regular driver license, just more, just more advanced. That's all it is, just more advanced. I don't think you. Yeah, yeah man, it's a real, real simple process. Like I said, just do your research and know what you're getting into before you jump into getting it. But having a CDL is like gold, man. You can do, once you have that class A, you can do anything you wanna do if you had experience. Make sure you get the experience, right? Keyword, experience. To do what you wanna do, you can go down different avenues in different ways. Now, once you get your CDL, if you wanna go over the road, of course, the company gonna put you with a, uh, a trainer. You gotta go to a company that have a training program to make sure you know what you're doing and get you adapt to the environment, to the conditions you're gonna have to drive in. Basically, you know, do your job correctly and professionally. And once you do that, we go through training. Most training, I know Prime is, they upped it to about, about six to eight months now. But when I was there, like a three month, three month thing you go through. Sorry, I'm trying to see what's going on, see if I gotta move up or not. 
but you go through the training program. Once you complete the training program, then you go on your own. But still, when you train, you still gonna have some situations you you have to encounter on your own. But once you get on your own, there's no better feeling, man. No better feeling at all when you're on your own. Once you get out of that training truck, you're going you gonna to go back, take cover test, do a road test with the company. Then you upgrade to your own truck. Once you upgrade to your own truck, man, man, it's no better feeling. No better feeling. I just think people take for granted of what all they've been through to get your CDL because you go through a lot to get your CDL and once they have it they forget what it took to get it and then they just they quit so easy that's in life in general P people quit so easy man it's sad people quit so easy that's why I say come in with a plan and know what you want to do know what you want to do just have a daily ritual routine and have a plan, man, what you expect to get out of trucking. If you want to do it for a year and go home, you could do that. You want to do it more than a year, you could do that. But I, my my opinion is you should at least do trucking for a year. Get your year of experience. The year, first year going to be the hardest part because I'm still going to do it. I'm almost to my year, but I'm still going to do it. The first year going to be your hardest part, man. A lot of people say once you get through that year, it gets easier. For me, it got, it's, it's getting a lot easier with uh, 10, 10 plus months of experience. It's gotten a lot easier, man. It's been, it was hard on my own for the first first six months, I'd say. It was hard getting used to everything. But it's been fun, man. You experience a lot, experience a lot. And come out here with a hobby, cause you'll get bored real fast. <laughs> You'll get bored real fast If you don't have a hobby man But come out here with a hobby It makes it a lot easier It makes you have something to look forward to Once you stop for the day of Why you driving Cause you can could, you could get through your drive Or your day easier when you have something to look forward to Once you finish They unload them pretty fast I'm about to pull up but yeah, y'all, man, it's your boy, the Monte the Trucker. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and follow your boy. Y'all know what it is, man. We getting it every day, all day. And we having fun while we doing it, people. Having fun while we doing it, staying positive. Stay positive, stay strong, and get it. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, the Monte the Trucker. Thank y'all for watching.